One big game hang on stand is ready to go, including straps and locks and burlap. This other one I just got done camouflaging. I still have to get the burlap on it and get the straps and locks ready for it. Both of these big game hang on stands are going out tomorrow with my redneck ladder set up. You'll see I've got two wooden ladders here. Got for 40 bucks at a rummage sale, both 16 feet long. That's gonna be my main ladder getting up from the ground up the tree. And then at the very top of the ladder, once I lock that onto the tree, I'm gonna use this XOP climbing stick to go from the top of the 16 foot ladder up to the hang on stand that I'll have locked onto the tree already. So all I'll have to take out into the woods with me is just one XOP stick to get out to these two stands. I want to go through the list of materials I have here for these two redneck ladder stands are going to set out tomorrow morning. Obviously I've got the two wooden ladders right here and I have some cable locks to lock them up to the tree. I also have both of the hang on stands here ready to go with burlap underneath and they are camouflaged. Uh, if you take a look I have my tree spider harness for the morning. I've got one ratchet strap here and another set of ratchet straps that comes right with the actual big game hang on stand here. Uh, I've got a couple of locks, cable locks, got my lineman's belt, some paracord, I got a bag that I'm going to carry all this stuff in, some extra zip ties if I need them, and here's my XOP uh, climbing stick that I can use to get from the top of the ladder up to putting the stand up. I also have right here um, a strap to put around the tree for my harness. It's going to be a hot day tomorrow. Got to be carrying uh, the ladder and the stand and all the equipment that I need for each one of these, both about four tenths of a mile out. So I'm going to get up early in the morning tomorrow and head out so it's a little bit cooler. We'll see you out there in the field. I found the easiest way to get this stand down here. It's just a couple of bungee cords underneath. And then you gotta make sure that you've got this stand on the ladder weight forward. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and carry it right in the opening of the rungs just behind that stand to balance the weight front and back. So I'm out here at the tree stand where I'm going to put up this redneck ladder stand and I had an issue with a mock scrape out here so 
had to hang a rope between two trees and go ahead and get that corrected real quick. One of the other things I try and do as well when I'm near one of my tree stands is try and reduce ground set. Sprayed my boots down as I was coming in here and I try to keep everything off the ground and hang it as much as I possibly can. So now I'm ready to put up this redneck ladder stand. The first thing that I have to do is put a lock around the top rung of the actual wooden ladder itself and uh, attach that to the tree so that it cannot come off. The other thing I'm going to do is take a drill and drill two holes through the actual ladder itself. And I brought some exterior deck screws that I'm going to screw through the actual holes that I'm drilling into the ladder and not into the tree but as a peg like is on the bottom of your hang-on stand just so that it's seated and it doesn't move around with the lock wraps around it. I'm then going to go ahead and put up my XOP climbing stick and I'm going to carry my hang-on stand up with me. So I'm going to walk up the ladder onto the hang-on stick. I'm going to go ahead and put on my lineman's belt and then I'm going to attach my hang-on tree stand, lock it up and make sure that I also get the uh, safety belt and harness uh, strap wrapped around the tree up top. Give you an idea what this setup looks like from up above. Here you'll see that I have my actual safety strap so when I get up with my harness I can buckle right in. I have no metal parts on this. It's uh, made out of an old harness uh, that I cut uh, from one of the tree stands I purchased so when I put my carabiner around there it won't make any noise clank around. Got my big game stand and seat right here. I've got a lock on here and then I've got one strap there that's attached right to the actual stand itself and then I've got an extra strap that goes around right there 
looking down you can see that there is my climbing stick and there's the ladder and this place is all set for hunting season come on boys and girls use that mock scrape over the next month so to give you guys an idea of what my view is here's my grapevine mock scrape right on a real heavy trail it comes out of these hemlocks in between a couple of clear cuts as you move down along this trail I'm in an area which is some mature oaks but you can see right in front of me is a clear cut that's about 10 or 12 years old and the trail continues out towards a creek out here here we've got these mature oaks mostly red but a couple of whites and then if you look back behind me you can see that there's a swamp over here Last thing to do is make sure I've got my hoist rope right here. I've got a knot right there. I've got a knot in the carabiner there. So all I do is pull this carabiner up, put it on that knot, and my bow hangs right there to pull up. Redneck ladder stand finished and ready to go, baby. Mock scrape, come on in, Bucky's. Well, there's my redneck ladder stand. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you can take something from this. And it's almost time, middle of September. Time to get ready and uh, get hunting. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Telling you guys to have a great day.